God's a little sheepy. I believe God's leading me to do something different with you today. You've been struggling with a tormenting fear and you need relief now. This is going to be very simple, practical, and laser focused on your heart. Doctors give out a prescription to address a symptom. This is going to have a prescriptive quality, but it's going to actually solve the root of your fear, stress, worry problem. Now, Stephen, that's pretty big talk, you might think. In all transparency, I am boasting in the Lord, but Psalm 34, 2 gives me permission to do that. Plus, not only am I promoting God's antidote for fear, but I am also a patient of the Lord, the great physician. So what you're about to hear is completely bona fide. In Luke chapter 12, verse 32, Jesus said, quote, Do not be afraid and seize with alarm, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I've learned that God can deal with your fear quickly and entirely when you posture yourself in humility toward Him. In Psalm 91, He said to take refuge under His wing. In 1 Peter 5, we're told to come under His mighty hand, casting all our care on Him because He cares for us. Here in Luke 12, we are given this loving, tender picture of Christ, the Good Shepherd, telling us not to be afraid. What He calls us, though, is of great importance. He calls us little flock. I tell my wife Pam that Jesus, the great champion of life, is calling us his little sheepies. Cute? Yes. Important? Very. This picture supports the prescription you're about to take. In John 10, Jesus says that his sheep hear his voice, know his voice, follow him as he leads them out, and that he calls them by name. He even says that no one can snatch them out of his mighty hand. The benefits of the good shepherd are for his little sheepies. If you want him to go before you, lead you, help you, do all the things that he wants to do for you, then you must humble yourself and be one of his little sheepies. Now, you might think that doesn't sound very spiritual warrior-ish, but don't let this slow your roll to victory. This allegory helps us better recognize God's might and greatness for saving, but also His steadfast character as the Good Shepherd of our souls. So now that you have this biblical picture unfolding in your heart, you need to take your prescription every day until all symptoms of anxiety and worry are gone. It worked for the warrior King David, and yes, it works for me. My suggestion is that you listen to this psalm at least three to five times a day and learn to say it along with me. Jesus wants his little sheepies fear-free. This collection of six verses is the perfect prescription for you. So take this along with me and repeat and repeat until all symptoms, residue, and every trace of fear are gone. Courage will replace the torment. Okay, here we go. Psalm 23, verses 1 through 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now continue to repeat and go over this word from the Good Shepherd. Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. He loves you, so give Him access to your heart with this scripture. God bless you, my friend.